Shalom and welcome back to our file JavaScript tutorial number 125.js in 2025. Yes, uh, no rapture so far. Well, all I can say about that is that uh, each single one of us has a cost and the Lord Yeshua paid the price and I accepted it. So now I'm still a watcher and uh, I can feel it in the air. He is just around the corner. I do believe that the rapture is about to happen. Please Abba Adonai Maranatha. Hurry up. Amen. Okay, um, now let's do uh, two further functions uh, today. Today we want to do uh, odd and even numbers and the object oriented programming let's do that as you can see this is uh, exactly where we stopped uh, last time after our uh, reverse uh, number function uh, today let's start uh, the it's going to be the function number 11 huh? function and Old and even and again we are going to call numbers but i hope you remember that we commented uh, the other um, functions uh, with the variable called numbers so normally it should be okay all right when we run i mean okay we open here and we call this variable with uh, the keyword let odd numbers and we're going to get it equal to uh, square brackets and the second one we're going to call it uh, let uh, even numbers equal same thing then numbers dot we need for each looper function we're talking about number here we want an else and uh, we can actually copy this one and then just uh, change it there and here we want to get old instead of numbers here we can call it console dot log and here we want the even numbers and we want the same thing here and here we just call it odd numbers That's it. And now we want the practical example. Now let's put a comment here. Example of usage. So we want to let numbers, uh, for instance, uh, let's start with easy numbers. The 1, 2, 3, yeah. or until 10. And uh, here, of course, I have added uh, the spacing. And now we can just uh, run and see. Okay, let me um, make it bigger so we can see. So we have all the functions. I mean, almost all of them, except two which we we had to comment because or else it would have been a repetition, and that's not good on JavaScript when it comes to naming the variables. All right. This is uh, our list here. This is the result. Huh? We made the example with the 1, uh, 2, 3, 4 until 10. So here we have our even numbers listed. And here we have our old numbers listed. All right. It's working. Okay. Let's, uh, let's increase the, the, the numbers, for instance, 11, 22, 33, 44, etc. And we run again. Just to see that it's working with any number you get inside, we run. 
and the, let me get that up again so we can see our result right here so these are our new even numbers and our new old numbers as you can see 22nd 44 the even numbers and 11:33 the odd numbers all right let's uh, do the function number 12 object oriented programming or opp so we create uh, an example with class an easy one to begin with that uses both uh, inheritance and uh, encapsulation please uh, for the theory uh, just uh, go on chat gpt or on google uh, here we are just going to practice uh, so you can see all right um we're going to start uh, with an easy example now with the class uh, animal and the uh, next time we are going to do a, a challenging one uh, example of uh, opp today class animal to make it really easy class animal we're going to choose um first uh, we open the curly brackets and here we want to get the name huh? let's uh, let me put the commentary here this is a private um, field and uh, here we want uh, the constructor and then we want to get the name right get name method must be implemented now we want our example class dog extends animal we just get two animals not more a dog and a cat so it's easier to understand all right now let's call uh, our const variable dog huh? equal now we want new dog this is how it works with opp huh? it's more or less always the same uh, way to do the function uh, you're going to see that afterward also with the next uh, OPP example next week, if I'm still here, <laughs> if the Lord has not raptured me. All right, so here we want a const dog equal new dog. Let's call it body and the dog, and you can call it as you wish. And I'm just going to take the same thing, stick it down here and change it here to cat. And for the cat, we want no cat. And uh, we want to call the, the cat whiskers. Huh? How about we call it whiskers? Just like that. Okay. So now, of course, we need uh, on JavaScript uh, always the console.lonsol.log. And here, first, we get the dog dot speak. And then we take the same, uh, the same, uh, and uh, we do it with the cat speak method here. Cat. And once we have done that, uh, uh, the output, of course, should be a uh, woof for the dog. Huh? Like uh, return uh, this uh, get name said woof, huh? according to this. And for the, um, for the cat, we should get a meow. Okay, so let's run and see. Let me make sure we have it right here. Okay, buddy the dog says woof. And whiskers the cat uh, says uh, meow. Okay, so buddy is the dog and whiskers is the cat. So they speak their language. But uh, let's say you want to have fun. You want to, you want lol, you see. You can just go and um, switch the, the the new variable. Let's let's play. Uh, we have to do it here. Let's play. Uh, here we have const dog and cat, right? We want to put here cat. And here we want to put the dog. Let's see if it's gonna work. So the cat shall do the woof. And the dog shall do the meal. So let's run and see. As you can see, 
it's working. Now Buddy the dog is saying meow and Whiskers the cat is saying woof woof. <laughs> Funny huh? Okay. All right. I think that's enough for today. Huh? Uh, the rest is uh, coming next uh, if God's willing. I hope you like it so far. We have uh, uh, 12 functions. Let me get down here so I can show you the whole work so far again. So we started on the 7th of uh, September with the first tutorial and today is the 1st of uh, November and it's tutorial number 5. Um, and of course we have commented uh, two functions because uh, we have used the variable called numbers a lot of times. Let me go back there so you can see here we had to comment the printing mean and max values and we had to comment also the prime number check function because we use the variable called number in it and we cannot do that on JavaScript. All right, let me just uh, rename my uh, file uh, uh, accordingly. Here it's one, two, uh, five, extension.js uh, for JavaScript. Okay, thank you for watching. The rest is coming next, if God's willing. God bless. Bye-bye. I hope the Lord is going to rapture me. I hope the Lord is going to rapture me. I hope the Lord is going to rapture me. Amen.